Hey y'all, uh, welcome to that video. We're back here for episode 11 on the uh, truck series, on the truck and hack series here. Coming out here on the balcony with a nice, beautiful view today. Today's episode, what we got planned is we're going to be taking the international and it's here. And we're going to go ahead and plant some corn in the very far back field over there. But before we start today, we're going to get some coffee. We are a little tired this morning, so we're going to need a little bit of coffee. So I'm going to chug that down real quick. Yep. Just shattered, shattered my mind. I'll clean that when we come back. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get out the door today. Go ahead and start the Duramax up. She sounds good, y'all. Okay, let's go ahead and turn out of here. Look, windows a little. Forgot to hit the windshield on this thing. So, we'll go ahead over here. We'll get the cedar. Uh, I still haven't got the skidster over here to move them. Other things. The skidster's over there. Nothing's really changed since last episode. Go ahead and pull it right here. Um, get the international started up here. Gonna open the door up there. We'll go get the other door open while the tractor's warming up, y'all, because it is a little, a little brisky this morning. I have a 6 0 on this one. I'll put it back in this one. Uh, light switch. There we go. Oh, up. Oh, there we go. I say, can't leave my own shop. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we got some enough seed in there. Which we should. Don't see why we wouldn't. Okay. Gonna keep this a nice little short video today. Just go and go for our daily episodes. Oh, our daily, like uh, our normal routine, I guess is what you call it. Gonna hop in the international here. Come back on in here. Thirteen percent. I I say we don't risk. I say we at least go get get some of that seed. Good to go. Uh, so we're gonna do some more oats, I think, y'all. I think. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and check the menu real quick, y'all, and see what we can do. Where's that? It's up here, I think. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, what we can do. Uh, we're really gonna do some canola, so I wanna save some fuel for that. Um,. Oh, no, we have to actually, y'all. We don't even need cedar. We're gonna, we're gonna go buy a planter, y'all. We don't even need this cedar right here, y'all. So, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and hook up 350 to the gooseneck. Well, big gooseneck's awkward. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit on a small gooseneck. So, we're gonna hook the 350 up to the gooseneck and we're gonna head to the shop and we will uh, catch you back here in probably about 9, 10 o'clock. Shop's not close at all, it's pretty far. And I like to plant some corn actually, so when we head down to the shop, uh, we might catch you at the shop. If we do, we do. If we don't, we'll catch you uh, when we're pulling back up to the farm. Alright, y'all, you can see the farm in the background here. So we are just now arriving back to 844. Farm is only, the shop's only 20 minutes away. Uh, we do have got to get the case wheel loader up because that's how they loaded it. They used a wheel loader to put it on here. This thing cost me around 12 grand. It was a pretty good deal actually, so I took it. So now we're gonna have to figure out how to get the thing really off the trailer. I didn't think the far ahead whenever they said, hey, we got way it loaded. I didn't think I was gonna unload it. So, we're gonna start the Duramax up real quick. That's. Hey, I didn't use that, so I don't know why that's on. We'll go turn that off real quick. I don't need that on. I don't need that on for the day's episode at all. We're going to pull this in over here. 
We'll probably end up driving the 450. A little bit more today. So I'm going to go ahead and get the wheel loader fired up here. Drop, oh, we can drop the thing right here. I'll put this thing in reverse here. I'll put them over here. No, I'll put them in the uh, red shop over here, I think. The attachments. We might have to move to 6 uh, which I'm hoping we don't. And we are. Go and fire the thing up now since so it's going to take forever. Actually, it's got a. It's got. It's got the ramp. So, yeah, we we just kind of move it ourselves, y'all. Look behind us. I'm trying to do all this in the uh, POV here. Right there. We don't want to go any closer than that. It's got the ramp, Chan. We can push it. Yeah, right there. That's all we need. Keep going. There we go. I wash truck now. That's the biggest thing. Alright. So I'm going to do it the same way the guy did. He picked it up by the center here. Which we are going to go in this POV right here for us. It's actually going pretty easy so far, y'all. Oh, Lord. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Back it up easy. Oh, there we go. There we go, we got it, y'all. Look at that. I'm a professional. People said I couldn't operate this thing. Look at that, I got it unloaded. I didn't have to take, think about that at all. It only took us about half the video, because I'm trying to keep my videos cut down to 20, 30 minutes. I'm going to drop that bag out right there. And we'll go ahead and shut this door back up. Okay. And we'll just go put this thing back up to the, uh, to the log fork and put this thing back inside and fire the tractor up. This tractor's warm up. Well, it might have cooled down, but it's it's got heat in the motor. We're good. Let that thing warm back up. We we'll get this thing out of the way. We're actually gonna put her on back. Actually, in a bad little spot. In a bad spot for this trailer. I ain't gotta fight it for now. Put the tailgate down. Turn the lights off so we don't have any dead batteries. Uh, we do gotta get some seed for it, so we might have we gotta run over to the original um, the original compound, which we're just planting one field. I really want to do canola. Well, I, I, actually, we're gonna do both fields. I can I can clear more land. I know I didn't make I know I didn't make a sale today, which I might I don't know what we'll do with that. It's a good money profit, but I don't want to use it right now until we need it. Hopefully this thing fits. We we'll got to move the we we'll got to move the gator, y'all, because I don't got the skids here. There we go. Go and hop back in here. Go ahead and open the things up here. We're gonna fit, right? Uh oh. We are. We are gonna fit. Okay, good. Ooh, close, but we do fit. There we go. No, we might take. I'm not gonna use all three. I'm gonna all use another pallet. Oh, we're good to go. Put the lids back on. Oh, I'm not going to make that. There you go. I like an angle, I think, is what we determined. There we go. At an angle, put it in reverse. Right here. 
We'll go ahead and uh, we'll leave the door open, that door open. We'll turn the lights off so we're not losing power in here or using all the power. And let's go plant some corn. This thing goes 12,000 liters. That's actually pretty good about. Oh, uh, how much is that? You can use a six meter after all. Do you need to get? Do you need to get me a hay field, y'all? What do you mean you can't plant corn in March? August, really? Or April? Really? Is that really a say? It really ain't going for it. ain't going for them. Well, y'all, we're gonna. I guess we're gonna go to sleep for a few months, and we'll catch you here in a second. All right, now we are back to continue this video here, so we can get this video on the way. Cause now it is actually April, so. Bossy, you gonna start? Now we can do some planting. That's what we wanted to do. So we're actually going to do this a different way. We're going to go back in the third PRV here. We're going to go rows where I can do a heaven or anything. Just because there ain't no need to do a heaven. So, I mean, I like it this way better. I feel like it's more uh, realistic if I go just rows. And these fields ain't going to take long to do. That's why I said we no need for time lapse today. Keep a nice little short video. The video is looking about 15 minutes right about now. And it's probably going to um what's it called might be end up 30 minutes probably maybe no probably about 25 i think uh we've done three passes so it's using like two or three two or two uh one or two percent of every pass which ain't bad at all this makes our third pass it's at 96 so so it's using about one and a half two two liters for or percentage whatever you want to call it that way we didn't need to get a new tractor y'all, so next episode we might be looking for a new tractor. Because this tractor is a little beat up. And we're still trying to get LJ in here y'all, but he's having some issues with his flight. Like he can't get flu out here or something. So we're going to try and get him up in here. Now we missed a little bit there, I have to come back and get that towards the end. There we go, get a little bit farther over. There we go, we'll go ahead and turn that off. We'll put it back in reverse. Do need to get some hay started because I would like to put some sheet pen somewhere. So, well, whenever we finish this episode up, I might go ahead and just clear some land over there. Use 30 foot and just take it to the. I don't know where I'm going to put the wood at, y'all. Some I don't need it. I can promise you that. We got plenty. We got 120 pallets over there. We're good to go. <laughs> I might try and sell half of them to the city for the house that they want to build, but I gotta clear the land over there. I don't want to do that by myself until I get LJ, so I like to have someone driving the truck, one clearing land, and one on the stump grinder, clearing all the stump stuff. And we're gonna have to get some better equipment for that. I don't think our wheeler, our wheel loader will do pretty good, but we need to get like a scorpion or something, at least one or something. Get like a forestry piece of equipment for that. Actually, I think right there would be a pretty good spot to clean up and. How is that hay field? That's what I might do, y'all. I might clear that off right there behind this off camera. Probably throw the logs in the river, I guess. I don't need them. I don't know. I'll figure, I'll figure out when that time comes. I won't post anything about it unless I make a sale. Just because there's nothing to really post about that. Uh, it looks like here we're coming up on our final pass or two. Definitely two passes. Yeah, definitely two passes, and then we'll pop over to the next field. So it takes about four minutes to do this field, which ain't bad at all. You do need to make the field sizes bigger. That's kind of what I'm trying to make the bend over there. Because if I make that bend, then I can put fields like over there in that little area. So off camera, I'm always clearing land. Just to let y'all know that now. We need to move the days from 14 days to seven days. So that way, at least we're not sitting here all day waiting for it. So let's go ahead. 
we'll just drive on over here and we'll Ooh, that tree's a little close there, y'all. We're gonna have to come back and cut this tree. Hopefully I can get close enough where it gets that corner. Close enough? Perfect. So this field ain't the straightest right here. It's got a little bend right there, so I'll have to try and cut that tree. Well, I'll, have to try. I'll have to cut that tree and uh, make it a little bit wider. I don't want, I don't want my uh, header or my cedar or my plant plow uh, catching in there because I do use the plow to kind of clean up the after harvest just because it gets the field replow get nice rows for the, for the feed to go in and don't need to buy a cultivator <laughs> I ain't got the horsepower on a cultivator either I got the horsepower to run this which it should be the opposite way around this could, well the plow not this really so it makes sense Sort of. It sort of makes a little sense. It's still bad to have almost all John Deere equipment. John Deere combine, John Deere plow, John Deere cedar, John Deere gator, the fertilizer. But I don't own a single John Deere tractor. That's bad to say, y'all. Yeah, but while we're actually over here, I can actually show you what the game plan is. Like, back there in front of us, clear some land out, leaching trees in between, so it, like, it kind of separates the fields and get, keeps some of our natural area. Because you can always cut down as many trees as you want. You can't always plant as many as you want. So. And 5M content. I might, I might go back to 5M and make some content. Oh, that's if you like. Make some 5M content here and there, just because I want to do some racing. I quit 5 of really just because like I wasn't entertaining. But I missed Jack Trail. That was okay. So, uh, and I need to go finish the side hustle build, but like I said, there'll always be a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday post schedule. We might when we go back to five then we might make like Wednesday night for the list like whatever we go to River Server we go to, which is them boys at the moment, but it ain't active. To be honest. So, and we ain't going back there. You don't got to worry about that, y'all, because we had some problems with Die Hard. Their rules were not adding up to the cars. They were foul tuning. Like, it's nothing bad. I mean, if you allow, you allow. But they were meta tuning after the cars. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to get into it, really, because it kind of upsets me whenever I talk about it. But I would have probably stayed if that didn't happen. But when you can't even beat, like, the slowest guys because they're meta tuning, that's something. So, I mean, it is what it is. I um, think y'all be glad to see the five from content come back. It's been a month since I did the last five M video, actually. Well, since I've been on five M, it's been a month. So, the video might say late. Like, I might have been on later, but you gotta think my videos are pre-recorded. This video is actually recorded Sunday, so this one ain't pre-recorded. It's kind of recorded right on schedule, which is I had no problem doing that. It's just if I don't, if I can't make that video, like if say I can't make a video Tuesday night, then y'all don't get a video for Wednesday. So that's why I record half my videos. Like if I'm off a weekend during racing, because I don't know if y'all watched the episode eight and nine. I talked about my background a little bit. And I do race in IRL. I have a 1993 S10 LS Pro Charger truck. Uh, my buddy has a like a little Camaro, like a 2018-2020, somewhere around there. I don't know what the exact year. This Pro Charge LS. I don't know what it is. That was Pro Charge. I don't. It might be LS. It's definitely LS because the motors are LS. Yeah. Uh, and then we got the Bad Apple, which has no motor in it at the moment. And then we got a new car, we're building a, like a, we're building like a 67, 69 Camaro, nitrous car. But with that being said, y'all, that is the last pass for the field, and y'all can see I made the road, I still have to clean the road up, y'all. So, did pretty good, y'all, this thing did excellent. Get that land cleared out right there, it'll be the next step, and buy a mower. I'm hoping we can also get a, uh, get the new series going, the construction series. And there is also a third season, or a third series I'm talking about starting up. So I might, 
there might be uh, the recording thing might change so if it does change I promise you there'll be a video if it does change the schedule the new schedule would be Monday Wednesday Friday Sunday Monday so you'll get two back-to-back -back uploads don't turn lights on so that'll make y'all happy so you can fit in there there we go Go ahead and drop this towards the back here because this is kind of just where I keep all the like farming equipment at. Uh, we need to go get the gator. We got some time left in the episode. It's not 30, it doesn't hit 30 minutes. Oh, I didn't even turn the lights on, y'all. There we go. Got the, we got the 40 foot over there. Going back this back in here. Oh, we need to go back in this person here. We want to keep this. For press the POV if I hit the ship. I should get this thing hooked up for the stump grinder, so we're already a payer, but I'll probably just cut the trees and do something. Um go ahead and get that opened up. Get the Duramax started up. Let the Duramax start cooling down. Um we'll go ahead and take this. We'll actually just move it. Actually, I can do a little bit of hay work back there if I really wanted to. Because I have a gate over there, which I'll show you uh, right now. One hour now, I'll show you here in a second. I'm going to back this thing back in place. The only ghost one will probably just take this trailer since it's smaller. I really got that trailer for the vlogging. Which I need to buy a semi trailer for vlogging now. So. See, if we come back here, oh, a little dark. See, if we come back here, y'all, we get, there's a gate right here. Let's see, opens up. Hopefully it don't hit the truck. It did hit the truck. No road to it because I really just did so I can cut the grass. We need to buy a lot more. Cut this grass, too. Uh, we're just going to take this truck home, y'all, because next episode, I don't know what we got planned. Yeah, this truck's been inside. It needs to get some sun on it. The uh, Duramax has been outside for a while, and it needs to go inside. So we can keep it nice at least. Cause I like to keep all my trucks nice. I don't have a garage at the uh, new place yet. Still clean? Yes, yeah, she's still clean. Go ahead and turn the lights off here. Oh, they are off. Oh, turn it back off. There we go. Alright, I made a pretty good video today. Truck's not dirty at all. I mean, it's a little, a little bit dirty. It's not dirty at all. Ooh, we got a fertilizer. Ah, fertilizer off camera, y'all. There ain't no need to keep y'all here to do that part. Cause I'm trying to keep the videos nice and short. So we got oats, oats, corn, corn, and wheat right there, which if it ever grows, we'll have wheat. There we go. Perfect spot. We're just gonna back it up right here. There we go. Alrighty, y'all. Well. We're gonna go ahead head into the house. It is only 9:50. Yeah, we ain't believe we, we turned that up. No, uh, uh, ain't no way. But we're gonna go ahead here watch some TV. Oh. I said I was going. Oh, right here. About oh yeah, we're gonna watch some TV, y'all. But we go ahead and catch y'all on the next one. Hope y'all enjoy y'all's Monday, and we'll catch you for Wednesday's episode. Later, y'all.